everyone, so I'm gonna try to talk as fast as I'm soaping in this video. I'm starting off by adding in the coconut milk. So in with the lye solution. Get that all blended in super duper nice. Thought I'd try one of these voiceover deals, but we'll see how it goes. There's a lot of noise outside. This is a fairly intensive batch with a lot of different parts and even sped up, it's still 10 minutes long. So I put in the fragrance oil. That's just a beautiful fragrance I use in my Montana Huckleberry soap too. I'm from Montana, so I have a special love for huckleberries. Okay, so I am gonna split this batch into six pitchers for the six colors of the rainbow. And time to mix in my colors. These are mostly neon colors that I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut it with a little titanium dioxide here in just a moment. Aren't those colors lovely? Goodness gracious. This is weird watching myself work and try to talk through it at the same time. Oh, there we go with the titanium dioxide. In it goes, give that a little blend. I just wanted these to be a little bit more towards the pastel realm since they're supposed to be the whole huckleberry fluff thing that really works out nicely. It's time to start pouring. So I'm just going to go back and forth with just a drop pour with all the colors from purple up until pink and then probably gonna do it again. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? That would be just a beautiful soap all on its own, the purple, blue, and the green together. So I'm gonna go in with another layer here and I'm going to get all these pictures scraped out. That is a chore in of itself and quite hard on the wrist, I must say. I told my husband I might have to charge more for the rainbow soaps, not just because of the work involved because it's gonna have to pay for my caramel tunnel surgery because <laughs> that's probably coming soon. I get most of my colorants from Nurture Soap. That's where, um, they're just kind of my go-to supplier. I do use a little bit here and there from other suppliers like Brambleberry and Mad Micas, but I do buy most of my um, colorants from Nurture Soap. And I also tend to mix most of my colorants. I know a lot of you ask what colorant I used and kind of expecting a simple answer, but I tend to just mix and match just a little bit here and there until I get what I want. So I'm going in with my hanger tool. This is also from Nurture Soap. We designed these molds just so that it would fit this uh, hanger tool. So now I'm gonna scrape down the edges. Golly, this is one of my most favorite things. I love how it looks once the edges are all scraped down. It's just so much cleaner and I don't know, it does, it does me good, I love it. That's why I tend to leave it in because I actually love that part so much. It just looks so much better once it's scraped. Okay, so here we have a new batch. This is for the fluffy topping. The coconut milk was already in there. And now in with the lye solution. In with the fragrance oil. Now I don't typically fragrance this top part, but I felt like um, this huckleberry is an easy going fragrance, so I would go ahead and do that. Oh my goodness, isn't that the prettiest top? Oh wow, okay, so on with the fluffy topping. Now, 
I like to spoon it. I've tried piping. Piping works too. People love to pipe. I personally have a, a serious issue with piping. It makes me quite angry. I don't know why it irritates me so madly, but I will take the spooning it on the top over piping any day. And actually, it can get going pretty quickly. Of course, this is very sped up, but it does still go fairly quickly. Now I just go back and forth, just laying it on. That's a big pot of soap just to put out with a little tablespoon, but you know what? Getting the job done. I remember this day pretty well. My husband and son were upstairs working. We were we were working on getting stuff ready for a release. I'm not sure which one at this point, but um, they were up there working, so I saw myself pause for a second. I was probably talking to them. We usually have music going and such, so when I do these short and sweets, they're typically on remakes, and I have a full-length version also on the channel already. And it's also really nice. I love to listen to music. So that's really my thing. So I just decided on these rainbow videos that I would go ahead and film everything I was doing, but I would do the short and sweets on the remakes and such, and then I would do the full talking videos on the brand new soaps. So on this part, I'm actually finishing off the top, so you might be able to notice that I'm spooning it on just a little bit differently to make it a little bit more dollopy. Oop, a little glitter. You know I do love my glitter. This is biodegradable, probably also from Nurture Soap Supplies. I try to do the fancy slow-mos, but you know guys, my camera is not really set up for those uh, in the frame rates for the fancy slow-mos but it works you can still get up close and personal gosh I just love these look at this isn't that just beautiful I love it I love it so much in fact I might like the outside edges just a little bit better than I like the inside hmm. gorgeous there's my cutter from Bud's wood shop you can see it upside down on the sticker there, but Bud's Wood Shop on Etsy. I love his cutters. He's a great, great, great uh, contribution to our soap making community. Pretty. Seems like every batch I make turns out just a little bit different. This one turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. So what we do is we go ahead and put all these soaps back on the tray. Our soaps cure for uh, four to six weeks with this rainbow release. Many of them have cured for three months. It's been taking me a long time to get all these soaps made. I have 16 in total, I think. Okay, so there we have it. We have the Huckleberry Fluff Soap coming to you at the Rainbow Extravaganza. I'll talk to you guys later.